there's a new version of Stable Diffusion coming, Stable Diffusion XL1. At the moment, they have Stable Diffusion XL 0.9 out, and you can try it for free, but here are some of the results already. We've got the beta on the left and 0.9 on the right. You can see how high detail and how much improved these Stable Diffusion results are. Even on the right, this new version seems to be producing much more aesthetically pleasing images with its AI generators. And again on the right with this picture of the coffee and this image here, which also looks pretty stunning. Stable Diffusion XL1 is targeted for mid-July, according to this article, but right now we can actually use it over a clip drop. So this is clip drop with the Stable Diffusion XL that we can actually test out. So I'm gonna pop a prompt in here and I'm gonna go no style for now and hit generate. Now there is a short wait, but these are the final images that we get. Now the quality of these images is really quite sharp and the resolution is 2048 by 2048, making it a very good, decent resolution for AI artwork that's also high quality. But this next version of Stable Diffusion is starting to look pretty exciting and this is not even the complete model. It's sharper and looks more coherent and less sort of weird artifacts within the image itself. But there's more to it than just that as well. I can actually come down here to where it says style and there's actually a bunch of styles you can pick. So I can try such things like an anime style, which I think looks pretty cool. Switch over to photographic, which I think looks pretty incredible, really. A pretty big step up for stable diffusion when it's straight out of the box. But let's try now something else. We've got a few different other options here. We've got digital art. We'll try this comic book. Let's try analog film, which offers again, yet another style of image. We even try isometric, which again has produced something a little bit different also. But the more you try this stuff out, you can have a lot of fun with it, but uh, it also requires you to sign up for free, but uh, there is a pro version. But after you've done a few free generations, you will have to create a free account to keep going. But uh, I thought I might just compare this with some of our mid-journey images to see what kind of results we get. So I've headed to mid-journey, I'm gonna type in a prompt. I wanna see how it handles a realistic human face, or even a photograph of a realistic human face. And we're gonna put the same, I'll hit enter, put the same into Stable Diffusion XD, change it over to photographic, and let's start comparing. Now the photograph of a realistic human face, uh, both of these actually kind of look like really high de detailed 3D models. And even though I think the mid-journey one is slightly better, it's still the kind of two different subjects, but at the same time, it's actually, the difference is getting much uh, smaller. So I would say that Stable Diffusion, obviously when you know how to use Stable Diffusion, you can get excellent results when you have that skill set because it's more technical. But compared to Mid-Journey straight out of the box, I think this version is catching up pretty quickly. I did a busy city street and I turned the style off this time for Stable Diffusion and it created a really photographic image that looks kind of real. Whereas Mid-Journey kind of went for something a bit more artistic, but either way, they've both created some awesome imagery here and I think they're still a little bit two different styles to really know, but they both turned out excellent. I would say just as good as each other, really. Now I decided to do something 3D. So did a 3D model of a futuristic car and you can see the mid-journey one looks pretty cool with the glowing lights, but the Stable Diffusion one also looks just as good. There's not really a big difference here. Uh, I would say that it looks like, since Stable Diffusion is gonna be is open source, it's probably gonna be a pretty big competitor now, even just for the simple install you get on your computer. So uh, it's actually really uh, stepped up its game. It's gonna be something pretty exciting to see in the future. And finally, I wanted to try an anime style Samurai Warrior for something a little bit different. And with Midjourney, I didn't use Niji mode on the first one, uh, but I would say the images still look pretty good. Obviously, the one from Stable Diffusion looks more anime style because I used the anime style added to it, uh, which again, with the last one, I did use the 3D style with Stable Diffusion, but I decided then to switch to the Niji Samurai and got a more anime style. And they're both two different anime styles. I think, once again, it's there's not really a great difference. They're just two difference in quality. There's just two different styles. And I think that uh, it's gonna be getting pretty exciting to see how Stable Diffusion goes in the future. But otherwise, that's the video for today, guys. Now check out the link in the description if you wanna play around with this and see what images you get. I'd love to hear your thoughts and feedback on this. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day and see you again soon.